Hi everyone, today's video is a collaboration hosted by Shauna of our Homegrown Homeschool and the Veen of our Come in the Chaos Homeschool and lots of lovely ladies have joined in on this collaboration to talk about what are math curriculum for the upcoming school year 2022-2023 is. <music> Welcome back to our channel or if you're new, welcome! My name is Elizabeth and I am a homeschool mom of two wonderful children ages 5 and 7. Like I said earlier, this video is a collaboration with other homeschool moms. So there will be a playlist down in the description box below and be sure to check it out. Without further ado, let's get started! This curriculum is for my seven-year-old and he'll be doing Math Mammoth 3 as his main curriculum and Life of Fred for Math Concepts. I actually have a playlist for Life of Fred books uh, and I am planning to make a separate video for each book. So if you are interested of Life of Fred books, please check it out. Math Mamo 3 has two work texts, 3A and 3B. Uh, in 3A, there are five chapters. So this is the work text 3A. This is the table of contents, uh, 3A, chapter one, addition and subtraction. So these are all the things that your child will be learning in chapter one. This part in chapter one, he is kind of advanced. Chapter two, multiplication concept. So these are all the lessons. Then multiplication in two ways, order of operations two. Multiplying by zero. In chapter three, he's going to learn multiplication tables. Actually, this school year, he is already learning this, some of this stuff. But it's always good to repeat and to master. So Math Mammoth is mastery. Chapter four, telling time. Actually, he learned how to tell time already, but we will still do it, of course, for mastery purposes. And then chapter 5, money. 3B has four chapters. So as I mentioned earlier, 3B has four chapters. It starts with uh, chapter 6, place value with thousands. And then chapter 7, geometry. Shapes, some special quadrilaterals, perimeter, problems with perimeter, getting started with area, more about area, multiplying by whole tens, area units, and problems. Chapter 8 is measuring, so measuring to the nearest fourth inch, centimeters and millimeters, line plots, and more measuring feet, yards, and miles. So some of this were introduced uh, towards the end of Math Mammoth second grade. Then division, division as making groups, division and multiplication, division and multiplication fact, dividing evenly into groups, division word problems, chapter 10, fractions, so understanding fractions, Fractions on a number line, mixed numbers, equivalent fractions, comparing fractions 1, comparing fractions 2, mixed review chapter 10, and yeah, that's it. This is the grade 3 tests and cumulative reviews. So every time the child will finish a chapter, there is a chapter test. And also there is a end of year test. And half of this book is the community review. So before my son will take the test, he'll be doing the review. Uh, Math Mammoth is very versatile and this is going to be our third year of using Math Mammoth. And also my five-year-old is using Math Mammoth. She is working on 
first grade. And this is the grade three answer keys. So every time I am not sure with the answer, I have to look it up here. This okay. is a very useful tool, mama tool, because you know, sometimes uh, we are not sure with the answers. I have to look it up. Why not, right? Like I mentioned earlier that we use Life of Fred uh, for math concepts. Uh, mainly, really, we use this as a read aloud because we really love Life of Fred. So this school year, we'll be doing Edgewood and Farming. Uh, so every school year, there are two Life of Fred books that we have to work on. Uh, first grade, we did Apples and Butterflies. And then second grade, we're doing cats and dogs. And then third grade is Edgewood and farming. We are a big fan of Life of Fred books uh, because Fred is just fun. He's five years old and he is a professor at Ethan's University. So if you are not familiar with Life of Fred, I also have a playlist somewhere here. Um, so please do check it out. Please don't forget to check the playlist in the description box just to see what everyone else is using as their math curriculum for this upcoming school year 2022-2023. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Happy homeschooling! I never see you happy. You always treat me badly. You say I always die.